Back with Bobby and JJ Radio. We have, uh, we get tired of, no, I'm just kidding. We have the, the most beautiful girl in the world, Miss <laughs> Shannon Lopez. Yes, she's a show. Again, again, every day, every day. She's our day. co-host, and uh, she's brought in someone really special today, Miss Desiree Lamakia. Uh, Desire. Say, Is it Desire or Desiree? It's Desiree. Desiree. It's spelled completely different. <laughs> <laughs> you should have put your name. Uh, it could be probably <laughs> either one. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It looks Pretty completely girl. different. Anyways, thank you girls for hanging out with us today. Thank you. So, um, I know that Shannon's all over the place. Um, Desiree, <laughs> Desiree, you, you have this uh, event coming up. I want, I want to get into that a little bit. But let's just talk about Susan G. Coleman. Who are they and what are they doing um, for not only San Antonio, but the United States here? Yeah, I would love to. So Susan G. Komen obviously has a really big place in my heart. My mom actually passed away. It'll be two years this April from breast, breast cancer. Sorry. She uh, was diagnosed twice. And I think a lot of misdiagnosis mm-hmm. happens in San Antonio, which is unfortunate fortunate, and sure. really in the United States. So, um, What do you mean by misdiagnosis? Well, I think a lot of women kind of go to the doctor and they feel a lump and Sometimes they don't necessarily detect it early enough Mm -hmm. because um, they just think, oh, well, it's not really anything severe. So either they're not getting their mammograms soon enough um, and really not understanding what breast cancer looks like. And so um, having had my mom go through breast cancer twice Mm -hmm. and seeing what it does, it's pretty scary. Um, And so for me, I really um, made some promises to my mom while she was in the hospital of what we were going to do, because it can definitely be a lonely place when you go through all of this. And as a female, you know, you lose your hair. Um, you can get torn up on your breast right. and not really feel like a woman. So, um, you know, one of the commitments that I made to my mom was that I was gonna, going to move forward and definitely help um, women and men who suffer from breast cancer. Right, because it, it could be men too now. Absolutely. Really? Mm-hmm. That's new to me. Yes. Yeah. It, Bob, Bob. It, it's a lot less common, isn't it? It is a lot less common, but they actually say it's a one in eight. Mm. So you think about our population here in San Antonio, That's one in eight. <laughs> Yeah. Ouch. Wow. That's 12.5% of the I'm population. The lumps. There's one, two, three, four. Mm. We're good. I'm just yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. All right, show over. No, I'm just show. kidding. Uh, no, let's talk about, so you were right before we got on the air here, you were talking about something that's simple that could help um, people here in the San Antonio area. You're talking about people in some underprivileged areas Yes. that they know they have it, they, they're diagnosed, they need treatment, but there's a hurdle. Talk about that hurdle. Yeah, so what was really eye-opening to me last year when, um, you know, after my mom had passed away, I was like, okay, I want to grieve positively. So I just threw myself into Coleman and uh, had really great support of my uh, team and family members. But one of the things that I didn't realize is that there are a lot of women who suffer, like in the south side or the east side. And, I mean, I'm a local grown San Antonio girl. I grew up in the south side. Hey, Hey. Burbank. So, um. Southeast. (laughs) Nice. So, you know, like that's where my community was from, right? And so to think that, you know, any one of my theas or somebody that would have been affected maybe didn't get chemo or maybe just didn't even have a doctor's visit because they didn't have a ride to Mm -hmm. the doctor's office is really like unfathomable to me because, you know, we're in the real estate world and it's kind of hard for us to think like you can't just get Uber, right, to take you somewhere or a friend. So when I was talking to uh, one of the Komen directors, and she had told me that that's kind of one of the biggest causes for people to not get a ride and usually die. I was like, sign me up. Mm-hmm. So uh, one of our big missions is to say, you know, for $100, you could literally give a Komen um, uh, fighter a ride to uh, several of their cancer treatments. I like it. So $100. Yeah, for $100, it's as easy as that. Sure. So we've really um, put together some really neat signature events as our team. Every incremental amount mm-hmm. will go to the local chapter here and will help all of our local patients here in San Antonio. And that's really a big deal when you start looking at funds and how they directly correlate to the San Antonio community. Sure. Well, you guys also do like a really, really big 5K. I mean, it's probably one of the biggest ones in the- in San Antonio, isn't it? We do. Yeah, we definitely do. Um, the uh, you know the race for the cure typically has about twenty thousand people mm-hmm. that attend. The thing about it, though, is that usually only fifteen thousand people actually pay to mm-hmm. attend the race. The rest is the rest. Mm-hmm. The rest is just come 
and hang out? Yes, exactly. I'm going to show up with Mace and if, I, if they didn't pay, we yeah. should be able to make <laughs> Who's not wearing the ribbon? Bobby, we yeah. need you. Can I get you yeah, signed I'll, up, please? I'll sign me up. I'll, I'll have yeah. a cattle prod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> laid out. Or they just run faster, bro. That's, That's right, yeah. Motivation, <laughs> motivation. So if you want to get some more information, you can contact Ms. Desiree, which is not spelled at all like Desire. At, yeah. You can oh, call sorry. her at 210 Four five two seven one nine seven one two nine. Again, that's four five two seven one two nine. Uh, or you can also get a hold of, of Shannon at what's what's the best number for you, girl? Two one zero three three six seven six four two. Cool. Take a quick break. Be right back with Bobby and Gigi Radio.